Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from The Automator. And today we're talking through about sharing your scripts, especially executables and how you share them. So normally, you know, we put a lot of scripts on AutoHotKey, I'm sorry, on theautomator.com. Yep. And initially, especially for some of our new um, people new to AutoHotKey, we said, you know what, let's compile this because a lot of people get confused. How do I, like the window snipping tool, which is a very popular yeah. script, which actually now is as we can, we can do the same process with, right? Um, yep. They'll say, hey, you know, I don't know how to come to, to download a hotkey and install it and then drop it on there, even though for, you know, almost you guys, it'll be very simple. So we were trying to put executables on the automator and make them shareable where people can download them. The problem was after a couple of weeks of doing this, the automator was getting flagged as this big virus place and, you know, <laughs> and really discouraging people from going there. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm yeah, not going to We're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then we talked to Jean Lalonde, the author of Quick Access Pop-Up. He has a way where he signs his executables. And it basically, this is where Isaiah and I were just chatting about it before. We th we think it, you know, the signing of it, when the antivirus goes to look at it, it looks at it and it says, hey, this is signed by Quick Access Pop-Up or Jean Lalonde. They don't probably don't know it's an auto hockey script anymore, or even if they do, they still say, well, no one's flagged Jean as a exactly. virus distributor. So, you know, it's probably okay. However, from talking to Jean, it won, A, it's not cheap to go through the certification. No, it's process. not. No, it's not. A couple hundred dollars, I think, every other year or something like that, somewhere yep. there. It's not cheap. Yeah, you have to pay for but that. And it's also a little tedious of the process. I mean, he's got it down, but it's still not like a, hey, right click and say you're done, right? So, no. We were chit-chatting about it and we came up with this new approach, which we're hoping is gonna stop us from being flagged as virus kings. Um, why don't you go ahead and show them, Isaiah, what, what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So basically um, the idea here is we, we're still gonna do the normal executables, but, uh, and as we usually work with Dropbox, they're already there. We could use the um, link from Dropbox to because it is already hosted for us so now dropbox is going to be handling whatever flagging is going on right now that means that your site the automator is not being flagged directly as the source and i have, would assume that antiviruses are not going to be like hey dropbox is a bad place no you know it's a huge company they know what they're doing and they're checking on it the only thing is when Dropbox decides that those executables are no longer, but that, that's different. But so long as there is no, and I don't think they're going to be doing that anytime soon. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, we could even move it to GitHub as well, correct? Where right. So, and that's the other thing that I was doing. So in GitHub, we did have, at least for my, uh, for the logic that had to do with updating to the newest right. version, we were actually just pinging um, GitHub and getting the information from there. So I could do that. But for hosting it on your site, we just grab the link, in this case, copy the Dropbox links, link, go to the download. In this case, we're using Easy Digital Downloads for that. And it gives us the option to just set a URL for the file. Now note that Dropbox link comes with a zero at the end like this. If you use the link like that, it would take uh, you to this landing page, sort of, in which you can preview the file if it is a video or an image right. or download if it is an executable, right? Um, but sometimes you don't want them to do that. You want to link directly to the download. You put a one in there. If you put a one in there, what is gonna happen is that if you put the link and hit enter, um, it would just download the file straight up. So in our case, Easy Digital Download provides a button. So I just want to provide the button with the download directly. Right. thing so when you click on download it would actually download the file it, it actually triggers it's kind of like a redirect right it right triggers, exactly. go get that file from there yeah we happen to notice by the way also easy digital downloads actually has a cache so you do have to be a little careful with that as well as they cache the files which they didn't realize um, we actually spent <laughs> they hours, didn't know that like a year <laughs> ago we spent that. hours working yeah. through what was going on it was when we first yeah. launched our stuff and people were like this doesn't work and we're like we've pushed the new version um it right. took us a while but we, we finally figured out there is a cached version. As long as we're creating a new one, it's okay. But if we delete the file, like so I'm that's the other part. So here's the thing: that link that we're creating is a hash 
uh, it is an encoded thing for that file. It doesn't matter where you put it on your Dropbox. You can move it anywhere on your Dropbox and they're kind of like identify it anyways. I'm not really sure how they do that, but this, that's what they do. Now, if you delete the file, then the link is not going to work anymore because somehow they know that the file is no longer in Dropbox. Well, they, they being... Um... Drop uh, well, Dropbox, Dropbox itself, yeah. right? So Dropbox uh, knows digital downloads. You know, now that's the problem, version. right? Exactly. So that's where you would have the issue. The issue would be that you deleted the file in Dropbox, but the people clicking on download, they will still be able to download for a little time because uh, Easy Digital Download has a little cache system in there. So you have to be mindful of that. What I have noticed is that as soon as I put a new link in here, so if I change the link in here, yeah. the file, the, the, the cache gets updated automatically because we have noticed that as soon as I put a new link, it gets the new file automatically. The problem is just when you delete the file. So if you delete a file and don't want people to have access to it right away, just verify that your easy digital downloads cache is updated. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you. You're welcome.